So if I decide, if I add my to-do eggs, banana, things are getting wiped out, but things are not appearing here. It would be nice if we could see those items. So first thing is I am going to remove this console.log text here so that we have less uh, noise in, in the console. So right now React is maintaining the state for the to-do item and we are capturing that in the state text. But it looks like as we keep entering more and more to-dos, we React needs to maintain a list of to-dos. It has to maintain the list of the items that needs to be done. So we need a container. We need something that will hold all these to-dos. So let's call them, call it items, because these are the items to be done. And since we are, and that is a state that React will, will maintain. So it makes sense to put that in constructor and it, it will go here as items and we will initialize it with an empty array. So now what will happen is in the handle submit, every single time the form is submitted, so we have the value of uh, text here, but this text is not being used except logging to console. So rather than logging in the console, what we can do is that we can add it to our array. So what we need to do is we need to get, so we already got the text. This is the, uh, we can do for new items because that's because we already have items. So it will, we'll get the existing items from this dot state dot items. And to that array, we just need to concat the text that we just received. So that's the new items. And when we are setting the state to wipe out the to-do, we can also set up the new items because that's the new collection. So we'll go to P, P and we'll do this dot state dot items dot to string. Let's just do that. Okay. So let's just refresh it and we'll do put eggs, then we'll put banana, and then we'll put bread, and all of them are appearing nicely. So that's looking good.